Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthur Next Plays European Rusellus 4 as Jerusalem. So it's been a few days since I played this series, uh, or this game, anyway. Uh, I see, <laughs> looking at it now, kind of with a fresh perspective, we have a ton of money, uh, a ton of manpower, and we're way under our force limit, so we should build some troops. Uh, I also noticed that we have this protecting its Aragon mission, which requires us to build up to our force limit. So since we're going to do that anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, take that mission. And I'm going to go ahead and put together an army template here. And do something like six, four, what is that? 20, something like this. This is this. This is my usual army template. I think 12, 4, and 8. So we'll call this a 24 stack. Uh, and we will save it. And we will gather it over here in Constantinople. All right. Um, and then, you know, we can take a quick look while we're, before we unpause at our um, building situation here. Um, we could start with barracks. Uh, let's see. This actually does show me the manpower of the various provinces, so I can't build it here because there's no room. Um... So, yeah, kind of 250 is not enough extra manpower for me to want to build one. Uh, oh, Venice, 625. Was there something else we were going to build here? Um, we're probably going to build a workshop here, actually. Yeah, my income could use a boost. Um, or university, maybe. Uh, but we should probably... Yeah, I mean, it is a cloth province. It has a ton of production. We should probably build a workshop here. Um, Brescia... What trade node are you in? You are in the correct trade node. All right, I don't really want to demolish the marketplace then. Um, and these already have barracks. So let's go back to our buildings here. Buildings, barracks. We already have a barracks in most of our provinces, actually. Uh, what about up here? Um, could build one in Theodoro. Yeah, let's do that. Wouldn't be terrible. Um, and that's probably enough spending. So let me go ahead and unpause. Uh, the oh, wait, brace yourself for the pop-ups. Here we go. Uh, Aragon unrivaled Great Britain and rivaled Castile. Okay, so we're gonna um, wait. I want I I would like to kind of like to attack Crimea, but I don't really want to do it until I want to join the one of the religious leagues. Before I do that, I can't do that while this war with Scandinavia is still going on. So let's see. We have them down there to deal with possible rebels. It's kind of a waste, but I'm almost tempted to actually go up there and fight Scandinavia myself. Um, but I don't really don't want to suffer the attrition necessary to fight Scandinavia myself. So we'll just wait. 
France has armies on both sides of them. Their navy can't be in two places at once. So if their navy's down there, they'll cross over here. Once, really, what, all that has to happen is for somebody to take Stockholm, and France is going to go do that right now. So after France takes Stockholm, that should end the war. Uh, that did not end the war. But Munster was able to force them to return a bunch of land to Norway. Interesting. Norway, which up to that point, their only province was occupied by Norwegian pretender rebels. Uh, okay. Scandinavia wiped out a big French army. Wow. Still, I mean, when after Stockholm falls, I can't see them continuing this war. And I don't think they're going to be able to keep Stockholm from falling unless France goes and leaves for some reason. All right, France peaced out. Who's still in this war? Austria is still in this war. And they still have high war enthusiasm. Brandenburg still had a medium war enthusiasm. I'm thinking this, well, is Scandinavia actually going to go and try and take the land that they wanted? Um, no, I'm not losing 50 administrative power. Yeah, so that army that we built up is now draining our reserves. Did we did Aragon build up some more Aragon built up some more troops, those bastards. I have to go over my force limit in order to catch them. I wonder if it's worth it. How much am I spending on military maintenance each month? I'm spending 34. If I finish this mission, I get 10 years of minus 10% costs. So that would be 34. Yeah, it'd be 34 ducats. So how much would it cost me to build three more infantry? It would cost me almost exactly 30. Um, but it also cost me 3,000 manpower. It's probably not worth it. But I'm already one over my force limit. All right. I don't really mind being one over my force limit. But I don't, I don't, I'll just, I'll just, it doesn't, honestly, there's not too many other missions that interested me at this time anyway, so. So Brandenburg, you need to peace out, or Austria needs to peace out, and then I will peace out if Austria pieces out. Because I still have two war exhaustion. Oh, we finished it without having to build any more anything else. Good. Um, that's in Hungary. We're not going to do that. Castile. How do you feel about us? Yeah, sure. I will take a little more prestige and diplo power. Um, All right, fabricated another claim. Uh, let's keep fabricating claims. That was this one, right? So let's fabricate on this one next. Uh, 
then I'd be perfectly happy actually just taking all of those provinces and then we'll probably attack the Mamluks still looking to get exploration ideas I'm not sure if I actually want colonial nations although the problem is is that I can't get the trade from them Antilles this is a French colonial nation okay like, nobody's in North America right now, and it's probably in my colonial range, or it will be after I get um, plus 50% colonial range. But of course, what I really want to do is go east. Uh, okay. Do we, do we not core that? Oh, we're coring it. We're coring it now. This war is certainly dragging on a long time. Who is the leader of the Protestant League? Bohemia. Luther is still voting for us. Uh, okay. Declared war on Tunis. Hey, we're occupying Danzig. Way, way to go, Georgia. I think this is still the Papal State, isn't it? Yeah. have to be almost totally exhausted. All right. It's going to be a little bit concerned. Oh, we can get admin tech. Good. Um, let's go ahead and grab exploration. And get at least two of these ideas, although I think we need three to actually start making colonies. Yeah. Uh, we did get land leader shock plus one. We get the diplomatic insult causes belly against the papal state. Um, all right, let's take a look at our colonial map mode here. And yeah, not quite in range. Um, we need that plus 50%. Our truce with Crimea expended. I really would like to be declaring war on them, except that I want to join the League, and I can't do that while I'm at war, and this war is still going on. For Rar is of close to the heretics in our nation and rather than condemn them, has tried to understand them. 
Is he so starts to doubt the truth? If this came to the Pope's knowledge, he would no longer be allowed to serve in the Curia, but perhaps we can convince him to keep this to himself. Um. That's fine. It's a little bit annoying, but... Oh. We can do the Declaration of Indulgence Act. Which I think we're going to do. We're going to do this. And then we're going to spend that on that. So it's like we're spending 5% um, national or stability cost modifier uh, in order to get plus one missionary strength, which I think is a good deal. Um, oh, OK. Okay, we finished fabricating all of these claims. Let's do this province. Or maybe this, no, let's do this province. Uh, no, Scandinavia. I'm not going to separate peace with you because I don't want to make my I don't want to upset my friends, Austria. All right, with that extra plus 1% missionary strength, it is now possible to convert Constantinople. So we will do that. And... almost able to buy our stability up again, which will speed that up even more. Uh, the Papal State is sieging that. Uh, we're ahead of time on military tech, right? Yeah. Papal State. So now it's just Austria and Brandenburg. Okay, that's finally over. Okay. Uh, so we are going to join the Catholic League. And we need to pick another rival. Um, hmm. Interesting list. It's mostly our friends except for Scandinavia and Russia. Russia's Lithuania and the Ottomans have rivaled them. Scandinavia, Lithuania, Poland, Austria, and Bohemia. Um, We're probably not going to go after either of them. And Russia, ha or Scandinavia has more common enemies and is likely to be an easier target for other countries. So I think we're, we'll choose Scandinavia. Uh, the Commentile Act, what is that? Uh, another plus one missionary minus one percent. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. We, are, we just did the Blasphemy Act. We don't need another one. Um,
Okay. Uh, what we should do is hire another general. Oh, we could hire conquistadors and explorers too. Uh, I don't think we need to hire an explorer. The world looks pretty well explored. Um, so let's just hire a general. And we will eventually want to hire an explorer, but we don't need one yet. What is he? Uh, well, he's a six fire, one shock, two maneuver. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Um, and then let's get our diplomat back from France. Uh, does Lithuania have claims on all of these? Oh. I don't have a claim on this. Oh well, I'm just going to take it without a claim on it. Um, it's annoying, but that's okay. I'll just have to be sure I'm the one that sieges all of these provinces. Uh, so, I should probably... You can't w just walk there, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and ferry this army over there. As soon as we do that, we'll declare war on Crimea. Uh, sure. I'll take the prestige. I'm too worried about money. Enough. We'll make Crimea the war goal. Mm, I do not actually want to call in my allies, so that will simplify things enormously. Uh, so let's go ahead and declare war. Should be pretty straightforward. And then let's put you in half. Actually, divide up this um, navy and send the galleys to go blockade that and the rest of the ships to go blockade that. from the map. I don't think there's actually a real fort here, is there? No. Which is fine. Uh, oh, we have enough papal influence to pick up Another stability. So we'll grab that. Hungary started to westernize. And that will increase my conversion speed here to 1.5%. Um, so four more years of that. That's not too bad. I don't have a lot of uh, admin points 
for coring this stuff. Um, Crimea doesn't have those traditions. Oh, let's. Um, before I forget again, let's go ahead and improve relations with Castile. Ooh, who are now hostile to us? Really? They don't want any of my provinces. Maybe that's because they're at war. Hmm. Yeah, no idea. I was thinking maybe if Air if they got Aragon as a personal union after all, I mean, I don't think I would miss that event, but then I could see that being hostile to me. But they're really far away. So I'm surprised. Maybe it's because I took exploration ideas. They did not like to see that. You know what we could do? Is colonize this and go conquer Mexico. Uh, That's definitely worth considering. Um, okay, Crimea. I will take your provinces and your money and any other, let's see. Uh, you can revoke your core on that. And that. And that, let's see, yeah, just revoke all your cores. And give up your claims. Okay, I think that's the most prestige we can squeeze out of that. 30.7, yeah, that'll take us back up to 100. All right, Lithuania is not going to be too pleased about us with that, but doesn't look like they care that much. Um, let me go ahead and hold off on fabricating more claims on the Ottomans for a bit and work on improving my relations with Lithuania. All right, so we can core this for 184. So let's do that. Uh, that's 138, and that's 87. So maybe we'll hold off on this and go ahead and convert it instead. These are all, what, grain provinces? That's wool. So I expect a league war to happen pretty soon now. We don't have enough admin points to go coring anything else anyway, so let's ferry our troops back. Maybe we'll leave one army over there to deal with rebels. Uh, we have an open spot. We have two open spots. Uh, that's why we're making money again. Um, so I guess we'll have to take the level one advisors. Let's 
seven. Okay, that's enough to do that. And then, yep, so we can't convert anything now that we're coring that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea of going and conquering Mexico, I have to admit. Because um, Mexico's nice in that you don't really need trade to get a profit from it. And we can colonize North America at the same time. Um... France is calling us to war against Great Britain. Sure. Let's see if Castile, oh, yep, Castile joined the war. Um, okay, we better have you guys go home. Where's my other navy? Yeah, you guys go home too. Oh, Milan is in this war? Did we fabricate any more claims on them? I don't think we did. That might have been a mistake. Uh, Milan and the Hansa. Sure, let's... Um, let's see, this is Henry, so this guy will command this army, and let's send him and send you guys up this way. And maybe we'll go, uh, we'll go see some of Milan's territory. I mean, I don't think we can get anything out of this war. But Milan's probably going to go siege our territory if we don't. Uh, I don't think we're going to have to worry about rebels here. So... I'm going to go ahead and move my uh, I'm gonna ferry this army over there back over to um, sure head down there does France has France fabricated any claims on Gen on Milan? They have a claim on this. Oh, and I'm not using my diplomats because my one in Castile got sent home and I never sent one over here. So let's improve your list relations with Lithuania. And I guess we'll go back to... Well, let's see. We could probably... Don't need to improve relations with them. Yeah, we have no relations improvement with Poland whatsoever. All right. Go ahead and improve relations with them. We'll send them over there to be ready to reinforce if they attack. Perfectly happy to let France do the fighting if they want to. Right, we gained a free claim on the Ottomans. Our truce with the Ottomans probably has a ways to go yet, though. Uh, six more years. Um, all right, we should look at raising manpower. 
in one of our provinces. Uh, development. End of the Peasants' War in Lithuania. Hmm. It'd be kind of nice if this was sorted by cost, wouldn't it? Well, it is kind of sorted by cost. The din. Where is that? Uh, two, two, one. Cost me fifty. Oh, that's here. Um, that's a plains province. Bulgarian. Not exactly the best culture for me to improve. So it's going to be one of the first I lose. Not a terrible plot spot. Um. Uh, I guess. Isn't that another Bulgarian province? Yeah. Okay. What are my other options? Uh, Celestra. Isn't that over here? Maybe not. Celestria. It's another Bulgarian province. And it's all the way over here. Oh, Chaos. That's an intriguing possibility. What's the culture in this province? Greek. Yeah, I could easily see myself dumping a bunch of manpower in here. Let's do that. And we'll build a barracks here. Yeah, I like that idea. And that'll keep me from capping out on military points for a while. Um. Yeah, no, this is costing us a lot of Diplo points. Normally I don't really care about Diplo points, but I am working on a Diplo idea at the moment. Still... I don't really see myself breaking any of these relationships right now. They're all still really useful to me. If I was going to break one, oddly, I might break Austria. Hmm, they're making enough again, but... This is a plus two instead of a plus three, I would do it. A plus three, I just feel like it's too expensive. Yeah, it would be 23.5 monthly. Yeah, we can't afford that. Disease outbreak. Man, this siege is going really slow. Doesn't help that it, we're not blockading, of course. Oh, it's because we're reinforcing. Uh, here, let's go occupy this. I don't think the Papal State is in this war, but... No, they don't have a claim on it anyway. I don't think 
we really have to go fight Malone's army ourselves. Although, oh no, we can't. Not, not until that fort falls. And look at that. France just walked in and sieged this. They've like, <laughs> they started like, you know, a year afterwards and they still finished way before I finished sieging this. Is it because there's a, that has superior fortifications? I wonder what that bonus comes from. Is that like a Milan national idea or something? Uh, no. They do have defense. I know that's defensive mentality it comes from defensive ideas. Yeah, that's a big army. There's that Bahanza and Flanders. Where did they get all those troops? All right, I guess we should probably go help them. And we got 0.35 prestige. Not much. Right, lost against Great Britain. Interesting. Well, now we know where Great Britain's armies have been. Papal State rivaled Aragon. That, I believe, gives me a, a common rival with them again. Should improve our relations. Yeah. battle's over. Too late. Didn't notice it too late to go and reinforce it. Alright, this siege of Geno has taken like way, way too long. <laughs> way, way too long. Just cannot roll above a 10 apparently. took Genoa and with that I'm going to end this episode so thanks for watching everybody hope you'll join me in the next episode until then have a terrific day